Once you're on Google Drive, you want to find your file and download it to the computer. After you download your image, we want to open it into Photoshop. So we'll open Photoshop and then click on File, Open. And then you want to look in Downloads because that's where your photo is going to be. Now the next thing is that if your photo has text, you need to flip it horizontally because otherwise when you press it, if you print it like this and you press it onto your item, it's going to be backwards. And how we do that is Image, Image Rotation, Flip Canvas, canvas Horizontal. Now we're ready to print. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File and Print. Now there's a few settings you have to make sure. First you want to click on Print Settings. And you want to make sure it says Quality Priority and Inkjet Plain Paper right here. And then once it does you can just hit OK. Next thing you want to come down to this little drop down and make sure it says normal or hard proofing. If it says normal, just click on hard. And then hit print. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to fit our design onto our canvas. Because this is our canvas and it's pretty small. Next, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to tape our design down onto our onto our canvas. So we'll cut this a little smaller because it's a little bit big. So then you can place it down wherever you want, and you want to use this heat transfer tape to stick it down. You don't want to use regular tape because otherwise it'll melt onto the canvas. And now, we are ready to press this. Some things we have to discuss before the, we heat press is that it is very hot, so you want to make sure you keep your arms and hands away from it, because otherwise you could burn yourself and it, it could be very painful. So before we start heat pressing, we have to figure out what temperature and time we need. So if you look over here, we have these two posters that will tell you what temperature and time you need. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to set it up. So what you want to do is you can click temperature, and then you can set your temperature. So for us, we're using 400 degrees. Hold on. And then you can hit temperature again, and then you can set the time. And for us, we need 45 seconds. So then once you wait for it to heat up, and for us it's already there, so then we'll just move it over, and we'll pull it down and press it. And now, we just wait for the timer for the timer to beep and then we're done. All right, so now that we're done, it is hot. So you it is hot. So you want to grab a heat glove or something else to protect yourself protect your hands from the heat. So we'll just take it off. <coughs> And now we'll go back over to the table and we have to let it cool. So now that we've waited a couple minutes and it's cool and we won't burn ourselves, we can peel off our design. So now here's what our design looks like. And because we have a, we have a sticky part on the back, we can peel off this backside and stick it into the phone wallet. And that is how you dice up.